All right. Hannah wants a new table in her lounge. The table is rectangular, 125 centimeters by 75 centimeters. Hannah wants to have room to walk around the table. What is the most sensible minimum distance Hannah should leave clear around the table? And if I look at this drop down list here, they're all in different units. So just to help out, in the corner, up in this area, I'm just going to write the conversions for millimetres to centimetres to metres. To go from millimetres to centimetres, you're going to need to divide by 10. Because centimetres are 10 times bigger, and you can get 10 millimetres in a centimetre, centimetres are 10 times bigger, so in any length you can get 10 times fewer of them. Uh, to go from centimetres to metres, it's the same kind of thing. Metres are 10 times, uh, 100 times, sorry, bigger than centimetres. So you need to divide by 100 to go from centimetres to metres, which sounds really counterintuitive. But because metres are bigger, you can get 100 times less of them in whatever you can get in centimetres. So, for example, if I had 20 centimetres in metres, I do 20 divided by 100, that's 0 0.2 uh, metres. Okay, I also want to quickly just show you how to go backwards. So if to go from millimetres to centimetres you're dividing, to go from centimetres to millimetres you're timesing by 10, and metres to centimetres timesing by 100. Okay, so back to this question, that might help us out. Back to this question, we're leaving a sensible amount of distance around a table. Now 0.25 metres isn't something you'd normally say. You wouldn't normally give a small distance like that in metres. So let's convert it from metres into centimetres. Uh, it was, what was it, sorry? 0.25 metres, so 0 0.25. I'm going from metres into centimetres, so I'm going to times that by 100. All right, so 0.25 metres is about 25 centimetres. And as a rough estimate, that's probably about your hand span. So if you spread your hand out the distance from your little finger to your thumb, that's probably about 25 centimetres. Uh, so that sounds reasonable, maybe a bit small to leave around a table, like you couldn't quite squeeze past it. So that's probably a bit small, let's see what the other options are. You've got 50 centimetres, which is sounds it's a lot more reasonable, because it's longer. Uh, but is it too big? Well, wh what is 50 centimetres? 50 centimetres is probably about the distance from your elbow to your finger, uh, about half the length of your arm roughly, that's what 50 centimetres is, and that's looking pretty good actually, that's a reasonable distance to leave around a table, it means you can walk around it and stuff, you're not going to bump into things. Uh, let's check through the other options though, 125 millimetres, well I don't, I can't think in my head how big that is, so I'm going to convert that from millimetres into something I can use like centimetres. Uh, so to go from millimetres into centimetres, I'm dividing by 10, so I'm going to take 125 and divide it by 10, Okay, so that's 12 and a half centimetres, this option here, and that's even shorter than it was before. That's around, I don't know, a bit longer than the length of one of your fingers, probably, is 12 and a half centimetres, so that's really not wide enough to leave around the table. And our last option is 2,500 millimetres. Let's convert that from millimetres into centimetres, just like we did last time, maybe it's a bit more usable. 2,500 divided by 10 is 250 centimetres. Now, you might know how big that is, you might know that's quite big or quite small, but in case you're not sure, I'll also convert it into metres, maybe that helps you out. So to go from centimetres into metres, I'm dividing by 100, so I'm going to divide by 100. Oops. There we go, that's two and a half metres. So that's a lot taller than you are. Now that's too much space to leave around the edge of a table, that's, that's totally unnecessary. So out of all of these options, this one was too small, this one we thought was okay, that one was even smaller, and this one's huge. So I'm going to pick the 50 centimetre option. Alright, uh, I'm going to keep that working up here, just clear this, and we'll talk through part B. Hannah uses a grid to make a scale drawing. Show the table on the grid. Remember to use the key. Now this table it's talking about is from this question up here. The table is rectangular, 125 centimetres by 75 centimetres. I need to put this table on the grid, change the size of it, uh, so that it's the right size. The key is up here. One square on the grid is 0.25 meters by 0.25 meters. Now I've got a problem here because my units up here are in meters and over here they're in centimeters. So I'm going to convert them to the same thing. Personal preference, I'm going to decide to convert them into centimeters because then I'll be dealing with whole numbers rather than decimals like these here. 
So to convert these into centimeters, uh, to go from meters into centimeters, I'm timesing by 100. So 0.25 becomes 0.25 times 100. 0.25 meters is the same as 25 centimeters. Now I'm, I'm going to write that down somewhere. That's actually super important. So these are 25 centimeters. Each of the squares is 25 centimeters. Okay, good. So my table needs to be 125 centimeters by 75, and at the moment it's only 25, 50 centimeters across. So it needs to be even wider. It needs to be sorry, so 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. So now it's the right width. And as for height, it needs to be 75, and at the moment it's it's only 0, 25, 50, so there is 75. Good. So my table is the right size now, but like I said over here, I want to leave 50 centimeters around the edge of it, and just where I happen to place it, it's not got that space. So I'm just going to scoot it over here. Oh, I don't know, that looks a bit tight. Maybe move it up there. There we go. So I'm just going to check that it's the right width and the right height. So each one of these steps is 25, 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, so it's the correct width, 75 centimeters tall, 25, 50, 75. Good, sorted. So one mark there for choosing 50 centimeters and two marks here for getting the right height, width and the right distance around it. Good stuff.